Hello everyone and welcome back to the last lecture of the OpenShift Enterprise version 3.2 installation and configuration course. So in this lecture we'll be testing the auto scaling we have configured in the last lecture and this is just a summary of uh, where we are so far. We have created our environment on Amazon Web Services Cloud from scratch. We have created a virtual private cloud and public subnet and we have added three nodes to this subnet and we have configured our public and private DNSs and we have gone through some other configurations as you remember on the AWS console. We have also prepared our environment by installing the batches and tools required for OpenShift Enterprise and we have installed the OpenShift Enterprise 3.2 software. And after that we have navigated the admin console and deployed assemble PHP project and we have seen different sections of the admin console. And in the last lecture we have enabled cluster metrics uh, which is actually the components used to grab the information about running bots and this is used for auto scaling. We have configured resource limits which is also a mandatory step to uh, auto scale a project to define the limits associated with this project in terms of memory and CPU utilization and to configure auto scaling on our sample PHP project. So in this lecture we'll be testing this auto scaling in action. So let me navigate to my console and as you know this is uh, the landing page of the console right here and I will log in as dev1 this is the user that we have created through the installation process and this is the only project I have access to test PHP the sample application we have installed and this is the root generated for this application I just open it here so we see that this is a test PHP coming from our sample application and it just prints the PHP info which is grabbing some information about the running environment. So by hitting the server with some load, we'll be able to see some auto scaling in action. So right now we see that we have only one bot running and we can actually dig into this bot and we can see uh, the logs. Uh, we can have a terminal and access this bot and we can see the metrics, which uh, this, this tab has been added last lecture when we configured cluster metrics and we have configured our auto scaling for this project. So we see that the memory utilization is uh, 29 out of the 100 megs we have defined for this project as resource limit. And it's using uh, zero of the 100 millicores we have defined as a limit for this project. So let's get back to the overview and I will be using my shell console to generate some uh, load on the server. So first I will just uh, SSH to my master node and elevate my privileges. And the first thing is to watch our HPA. And we see here that we have, as, as we defined this auto scale in the last lecture, we have, a, we defined a target of 10% utilization for our pod instances. And this is definitely a very low number in real scenarios or real world you will keep this in like 75 or 80 uh, percent however for demonstration purposes and to see something in action we kept this number low and we see that the current utilization is one percent and we have defined the minimum bots to be one so even if i spin down this bot it will start another one immediately so if i do this it will start another one by itself because we have defined the, the minimum to be one Here we go. It took some time, but it definitely started. So here I'm going to use a batchy benchmark to generate some load on the server. And we will monitor this to see how it behaves. Okay, we are at 47% right now and you see that immediately it's been up 5 instances. We will keep watching and see what happens after our requests are completed and we are back to the utilization of 0. So we are now declining to 13% of utilization using 5 instances of our application, 5 pods are running and we still have the benchmark firing more requests to this server. Okay, we are still serving our requests and we are declining to 12% of utilization right now. So we are still above our target but it cannot spin any more instances of this bot because of the resource limits we have assigned on this project. 
Okay, we are declining to 11% and our benchmark is still firing requests to this server. We are now below our utilization target, so this is good, and we are still serving these requests. We see that uh, the benchmark here has finished. We are still having this here, so I'll just terminate it so we can see what happens when the load declines. We will still be monitoring our scaler. So now the load should decline to zero and it will remain at zero for some time before we see these uh, pods terminated. So we are at 4% right now. We are at 0% right now and we will just leave this for a few more minutes. Okay, as you see, we are still on zero. So uh, immediately terminated the other four bots and we are back to one again. We can definitely go inside the bot and we can go to the metrics which has been added as part of the uh, cluster metrics configurations we have gone through the last lecture. You can see here that the project is using uh, 26 megs of the available 100 megs we have assigned as a limit for this project and we have also assigned uh, 100 millicores as a minimum. It can go up to 500 millicores as we define in our limits. So that's it for this lecture guys. I think we have uh, successfully configured the auto scaling for our project and we have enabled cluster metrics on our cluster. Thank you so much for taking this course. I hope you have learned some stuff and stay tuned for more advanced topics to come. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me and send me your feedback. I'll be happy to adjust these lectures or add more lectures if needed. Thank you so much and see you soon.